Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be on a virtual baby shower, how to throw one, how to organize, what you're gonna need. And I thought this was gonna be something super useful because there's a lot of expecting mothers and I don't think you should be robbed of a baby shower. This might be your first baby, this might be your second, third, fourth, doesn't matter. There are options. I know I've had a couple friends that have had drive-by baby showers and I think that is dope. I think that's something really cool to do, but for people that don't have their friends and family super local, it doesn't really work. So I recently threw one for my sister. She's an expecting mother to be. This is her second baby, but her first girl. She's, yeah, she's definitely kind of like away from everybody and all her friends are like pretty spread out. So me and my sister had kind of just spoken and we were kind of just like, ah, uh, yeah, it's looking like a baby shower is not gonna happen. We did kind of like toss around the idea of, um, of doing a virtual baby shower, but I don't know, we were kind of like, ah, is that gonna be awkward? And then we're like, yeah, no, no, I guess, I guess just, just no baby shower. But then, I stood up one night and I was, you know, I was having me a little white claws or whatever. And you know what? I was like, no, like, screw this. Like, th my sister deserves a baby shower. This is just what worked, you know? Uh, do what works best for you. For those that are like super, like, just trying to be socially distant, which I completely understand because these are like scary times during this pandemic. This is freaking weird times. The virtual baby shower is definitely gonna work. So although it was my first time throwing a virtual baby shower, it honestly went so well. Like, I couldn't have expected it to have gone any better. I decided to come on here and share with you guys how I did it. I just wanna say to any expecting mother out there, I know it's scary times, or you might feel like, hey, I guess I'm not gonna get a baby shower. It's like, no, no, you can have a baby shower. So if anybody um, wants to throw a baby shower for a mother-to-be, or if you're a mother-to-be and you wanna do take this route, stick around because I'm gonna fill you in with everything. So let's get into it and let's let's talk about it. So first thing on the list for a virtual baby shower is you're going to want to plan ahead. I fortunately planned it just in the nick of time because I planned it maybe a month before she's actually due or like a little bit before a month. But you know babies, they come whenever they wanna come. So I was like just in the nick of time to be able to do everything I needed to do to get this done. My sister is a working mother, so I had to make sure to find out what worked for her. I asked her to, and this is gonna be number two in the checklist, make a list of guests. You're gonna wanna make a list of guests. So once I asked her, my sister picked, um, you know, around like 15 of her closest friends. That's who I went ahead and made a list of. I, I made sure I was writing all this down or making notes in my phone just to just to, to, to have this down. So I went ahead and got numbers if I didn't have their numbers. So I typed up like a whole message saying pretty much like, oh, hey, you know, I'm planning a virtual baby shower for my sister. This is the weekend that I'm planning on. Um, let me know which day and time works better for you. Saturday afternoon or evening or Sunday afternoon or evening. So once I heard back from all of them, I was like, okay, perfect. So we, we picked the date and then that, that's what it was. So when I got a hold of everybody and I got kind of like a feel of who all can make it, which luckily for my sister, pretty much everyone made it. Once I got that, I made sure to get their email addresses and their home addresses and I'm gonna explain why in just a little bit. The next thing on your checklist you're gonna wanna do is, and this is kind of optional, but I didn't pick a theme, pick a theme. The theme that I decided to go with was like boho chic, like floral-ish. I don't know, I'm not a freaking party planner, but you know. So I picked a theme, something that I felt like would keep us all kind of in unison. The next thing that you'll probably want to do is figure out a budget. With that being said, I low-key didn't have a budget really in mind at the time because I was just like, yo, this is crunch time. I, I gotta start like getting everything done right now. But for a lot of you watching, you're probably gonna have way more time than I did, so make sure you have a budget set. So after all that, what you need to figure out, and this is like super important, is what platform you're going to utilize to do this whole virtual baby shower. I decided to go with Zoom. Um, I started using it towards the end of my school year. I got comfortable with it. I thought it was like super easy to use. I know you can use Zoom free, but I think after like 40 minutes, it'll time you out and kick you out and I didn't want that to happen. So I signed up for a membership with Zoom, um, something like super basic, something that I knew I would be able to cancel after a month. I think it costed me like 12 bucks or something like after like a coupon. So I was like, yeah, 12 bucks, no big deal. So after I did my Zoom account, I um, first I tested it out. I created like meetings and I practiced on like my boyfriend's phone, like how to join, like did it work? I wanted to make sure that I was doing it right just because I have used Zoom, but I've never been like the administrator, the person like, who created the meeting, so I wanted to make sure I got that all squared away. Once I did that, I created a meeting for the day of 
her baby shower I put the start time which was one o'clock and I put the end time for like hours ahead obviously I knew we weren't gonna go that long it'll give you the meeting ID number and then it'll give you like a passcode that you create or that they generate for you so that's what you're gonna need because that's what you're gonna give out on the invitations for people to join the day of next and you can do this before or whatever but you're going to want to make sure that the mother-to-be works on a registry my sister worked on two registries which is great have as many registries as you want people love options so i had her create a registry because i wanted to make sure that i include this on the invitation so i got her information for the registries um i got the links and i also um obviously had her name and like the city and state because you can always look them up or whatever so the next thing on your checklist that you're going to want to do is create the invitations if you have the time you could totally print them out buy them whatever and then um mail them out whatever works best for you i personally felt like i was on like crunch time so i decided to do e-invites it was my first time trying to do an e-invite i was kind of like i said in a rush i was looking through all these different websites so i kept looking kept looking and then i came across one called punchbowl and let me show you how it kind of looks this is how the app looks and you go in there and you'll see this so basically i went through punchbowl and i created an invitation so the e-invites were distributed by email i think you could do it by text as well but um, I did it by email since I got everybody's email addresses. And Punchbowl was really awesome because I was able to include RSVPs. So when people open the email that I sent them, it's going to have this little envelope there. This one said, let's celebrate. And then it says, open invitation. And so it's going to give you, um, it gave them the option right there to either, you know, RSVP and say they are coming, they aren't coming, or people that didn't put either, it said undecided. I was able to include all the details on the invitation, the meeting ID number for the Zoom, the date, the time, I included um, the registries, I was able to put the links. The cool thing about this app is that as the person who is like putting this all together, you can put out announcements, which I use probably a good like three or four times. And it also provided my name and my phone number in case anybody needed to get in contact with me. I, I found the app personally useful. I, I included a diaper raffle. So that's, you know, a big thing at baby showers. If anybody decided to ship a box of diapers, I went ahead and put them down for a diaper raffle and I had a really cool prize. So that brings me to our next part of the checklist, which is planning the games and planning the goodie bags and how you're going to get everything to everybody. So when I went on Amazon, I wanted to make sure that these little goodie bags that I was going to make with the party favors and the games, I wanted to make sure that they were all in theme with my little boho chic like floral theme. So I found these bags on Amazon. Um, it came with way more than I needed, but whatever, I'll just save them. And they were cute little like floral bags. And then just to like keep everyone in, in theme and something to like bring us all together, I also purchased a bundle of flower crowns. They're like really small flower crowns. They go like this. Just something to keep our little, um, something to keep the theme. I put different colors in everybody's bags. And I also decided to include cute little like boho earrings some cute like little headbands i obviously kept like the whatever ones but um i gave like cute little like floral pattern ones polka dotted ones cute colors so i try to obviously kind of like color coordinate the flower crowns with the headbands and the earrings the last thing i threw in there as like party favor were these little like bottle openers that i found on amazon my friend had a drive by baby shower and i saw that that was one of her party favors and i thought it was super cute it says popping bottles on it i'll show you a picture of it right now and so I included that in there and then I also just went and bought candy and just threw some candy in there. So as far as games go, I know you're probably thinking like games, like how are we going to play games through the computer? But trust me, there's plenty of games you could totally play through the computer. I went ahead and started organizing like what games that I think would work, what games we're going to play. What are the prizes going to be? An easy thing to do is just gift cards, completely gift cards, because you can get those emailed to people. And I have the email addresses, so those can definitely be prizes. I did have um, gift cards as part of the prizes, but I also wanted actual physical prizes, stuff that I can Amazon Prime to them. So I went on Amazon and I kind of started picking out prizes. The prizes that I did were like bath bomb sets. I did like a portable travel site steamer, clothing steamer, a toiletry bag that you can take on vacation, insulated like tumbler with a straw. And for diaper raffle, I gave options just because I was like, what if people don't like what I give? And I'm shipping it, so it doesn't really matter. As long as I kept everything around the same price point, didn't matter to me. So I gave the option of a nice little like margarita shaker set, a face steamer with like a jade roller. And then the third option was 
a Jenga set, but like a medium sized Jenga set. So I went on Amazon and I kind of started looking up like baby shower games and then I seen some that obviously were for like in person and then I seen some that I was like, we could totally make this work for like virtual, you know, everybody in their own home type thing. The first game that I had found and I thought was like totally funny, I thought it was a totally good like icebreaker game was uh, this one. I try to still keep it in theme, like with like the flowers and all that. So this was Baby Bumper Beer Belly. It was fun, you know, I felt like it was a good icebreaker. A lot of people haven't used Zoom, they're probably not that comfortable. So I was like, you know, this is a good game to start with. So the next thing that I did was um, have these little scratchers. And basically these were called Baby or Food Baby. And there was 46 that came in the box and then there were four winners. And basically, once you scratch it off, the belly will either have... Um, like a cheeseburger in there, a food baby, or it'll have an actual baby, and those will be the winners. I just randomly shuffled the cards. I put um, three in each bag to make it even for everybody. That was the second game that we played. So the next game that we played was the baby bottle chugging game. That to me is one of the funnest games to play, and I was like, I don't want this to not happen. I went out and bought a bunch of baby bottles from like the dollar store, and I included those in everyone's bags. That way we can still totally do the uh, bottle chugging game. The next game that I decided to play was the guess the amount of whatever in the jar. I use Skittles. These are the Wildberry ones. I know they look like M&Ms, but they're not. Yeah, the jar looks a little low now because I've been going in on them. But yeah, so I counted them all. I got everyone's numbers down as I was going through and asking everybody what, what they think their guess is. Somebody asked for the measurements and I gave it to them. And that was another game we played. The next game that I found on Amazon um, that I decided to include, and it was, again, floral in theme, was The Price is Right. So basically on this card, you're gonna see like box of diapers, you know, uh, baby bottles, baby onesies, whatever. And then at the bottom, you're gonna see that it says total. Basically, I gave everybody like a time limit. And I was like, okay, you guys all have time to go ahead and Fill out this card and give your best guess about what these cost and then add them up at the end. Whoever has the closest total to what I got for the full amount of all those items all together um, wins the game. The last game that I decided to include was um, How Big Is Mommy's Belly? Cute little cards again in the floral theme and they came with three of these little measurement things. I sent one to my sister so she can measure her belly and I made sure to get her belly size beforehand so I can have that down. I also included in everyone's bag some pens so that way they filled these out and then they all show me on the screen so I know no one's cheating. And then of course at the end we did the diaper raffle. I went ahead and put everyone's name on little papers and then I put them in a jar. I shook them around or whatever and then I went in there and then I picked out the name. And that was pretty much like all the games. That was me putting all of this stuff into the bags. Shipping can get expensive and especially with this pandemic, I went ahead and did like expedited shipping because I didn't want to take any chances and then have our baby shower happen and somebody not have their bag. So I shipped all the ones that were people like out of town, out of state, and then I dropped off all the local ones um, on their porch. Like I just made sure they were, they were gonna be home or somebody was gonna be home and then I dropped them off on their porch. So once you picked out like all the games and all the prizes and, and all of that, you're going to want to kind of come up with like somewhat of a time frame that you want to follow. I did like a time frame of everything. Just to make sure we stay on track, I wanted to be super respectful of everybody's time. So the cool thing about this app and the thing that I liked was that I was able to send out announcements. I sent out four announcements. The first one was just saying like, hey, some of you should be having your goodie bags by now. The next announcement was like, hey, don't forget if you're joining the diaper raffle, please let me know so I can include your name. I made another announcement as I was getting closer to the time saying like, hey, last chance to enter the diaper raffle. The last one I put the date of and I put, yes, Zoom is totally phone friendly and iPad friendly, but desktop, um, laptop is definitely recommended and, and it's recommended to download the app. You can use an iPad and stuff or your phone, but I don't think you can really see everybody at one time. You have to like kind of swipe over to keep up. And I personally like seeing everybody in their little squares, kind of like the Brady Bunch. I like to see everybody at the same time. So the announcement part was really cool. It was just an easy way for me to get my message out to everybody. And those announcements came through to them through their emails. So now we're here. We're at virtual baby shower day. I have everything prepared, I have everything here, and I made sure that everyone had their bags. We're getting ready to get started. So I saved the first like 15, 20 minutes for 
you know, every waiting for people to log on. You know, sometimes people have technical difficulties. Just for everybody to to see each other, say hi, chit chat a little bit before we got everything going from like experience on Zoom. Sometimes if there's too many people and there's a lot of background noise, um, you can't hear very well. You can go ahead and hit the mute button. That's one of the really cool things that Zoom has. It has a little mute button. You can mute yourself. If you have something you want to say, you can unmute, unmute yourself. It cancels any background noise and any static or fuzz and it makes everybody that's talking be able to be heard. I also included introductions. You know, just a really quick, we went through and um, just really quick, everybody said their name, they said how they know my sister, and then we started the games going. Um, another really awesome feature that Zoom had was it gives you the option to, well it gave me, maybe because I was the one that put the meeting together, it gave me the option to hit the record button and I was able to record the whole baby shower for, um, you know, memories. I know some of us have really big families and this might not work for everyone, but if you wanna do like just a small group or you can have everybody, it might get a little crazy, but this honestly worked perfectly for us. I'm gonna be sharing some of the clips with you guys on here. So we're about to get started with the virtual baby shower and let's ask the mom how she's feeling. So it's definitely very different, but I am very excited to be able to have my closer friends on my virtual baby shower. This is definitely something new for, well, for me, it wasn't the way that I expected my baby shower to go. I had it planned a specific way in my mind and just ideas of what I wanted to do for my baby girl, but um, fortunately that's not the case, but I am still looking forward to making this something for the book well something something new something that other people might be able to do going forward so yeah because we don't know how long this is all gonna go for but i'm very very excited to be able to see all of my close friends all right so let's get the game started everyone just got uh three scratchers in their bags go ahead and pull those out and then we're gonna go ahead and scratch those. Most of them are gonna have food babies in there, a little hamburger. And uh, whoever gets little babies are the winners. You guys are gonna win a $5 Starbucks gift card, so pretty much a Starbucks treat. Oh, I got a baby. We got a baby, we got a baby too. We got a baby. Next game's gonna be the bottle chugging game because I wanted to get everyone a little fun. All right, on the count of three, and the first person to finish, just say done. And I'm gonna, I see everyone's screens. One. Gonna take like five minutes. Chug. <laughs> chug, 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 chug. Oh, you guys are pros. I've been something out. Hole in it. Is anything happening? Oh my god. <laughs> you have to bite the nipple. Squeeze it out. <laughs> Done. Done. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Wait, who said it? Who said the trick? Bite the nipple. You won a travel size clothing steamer. Ooh, oh, I need that. Well. Oh, I need that. Are we playing white elephant? I'm about to. <laughs> yeah. For the next game, guess how many so skittles are it. in this jar? So I'm going to show you it at every angle. This is how, how many skittles. inches tall? Five inches tall. Five inches. Three and a half wide. How many skittles do you think are in here? 150? 212. 255. 275. 293. 700. 330. 348. 340. 440. 440. 401. That sounded like the, you sound the like the price is right. 100. 150. 230. 305. It was 662. Oh, wow. Ooh, we were all way <laughs> What? They are all in there, 662. You want a, a tumbler with a straw, stainless steel, insulated. I don't know Yay. if it's different. Thank you. Next, we have the guest to belly size. So we will need Ooh. Veronica to get up and show everybody her belly. Yeah, baby girl. Hey, I have no idea what to put. <laughs> I feel like we're on RuPaul's Drag Race, like, reunion show or something. Or like, like reunion show. Yeah. I had a beef with me. Okay, let me see. Hold on. Let, let me see who... Okay, hold on. Monica is yes. 46 inches. 
You want a, a travel size toiletry bag? Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Ooh, that's nice. Ooh, that's a good one. You can hang it up. At yeah, your for table. next year when we're able to travel. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> next year. Um, I am going to be linking in the description all of the stuff that I got from Amazon. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment and I will totally answer them. I hope this was helpful for somebody out there, even if it's just one person. Like, I hope this can help anybody out there during these rough times. Everybody just stay safe, you know, God bless, socially distance, wear your mask. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you liked it or if you found it helpful. Thanks for tuning in with me and I'll see you on the next video. Bye. -bye.